Already it's time for the Myth Man. <sighs> yes, you do need to go back to your teacher and train a blood bat. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's just like, <sighs> really? All right. And Myth has one of the two highest amounts with nine spells that are changed for the spring test realm. There's Blood Bat, Troll, Cyclops, the Cyclops minion slash Cyclops ally spell, Keeper of the Flame, Athena Battle Sight, Ninja Pigs, Minotaur, and Stone Colossus. Yeah, there's a problem with Stone Colossus. It's locked. You must learn it before you can unlock it. This is what happened with one of the balance spells even though you can purchase the spellments for it. So why are they letting us purchase spellments for one that's locked? And yet, oh, I don't know, like one of the others, Athena Battle Sight, Ninja Pigs, Keeper of the Flame. Technically, Athena is not a lore spell. That's a craftable or droppable spell from a pack. But Stone Colossus is brand new, trainable, learnable spell for myth. And Keeper of the Flame and Ninja Pigs are lore spells. So yeah, I don't know if anyone's found out who is giving spellments for those yet. All right, the Cyclops minion is a brand new upgradable version of it. So yeah, this is the first time they've ever allowed us to upgrade a minion spell. So I'm actually gonna try out both tiers. So for X amount of pips, between one and four pips, it summons a Cyclops minion of myth. The upper tier still is the variable pips cost. The lower tier is the variable pips cost. The top one says Cyclops minion, but the bottom one is called Cyclops ally. And all of these are 100% accuracy which is good. You don't want to fizzle the casting a minion. Anywho, all right, it summons a myth minion between one and four pips, and it looks like it gives the minion an additional 35 health. Tier three gives the minion an additional 70 health. Tier four gives the minion an additional 105 health, and tier five gives the minion an additional 140 health. The lower tier, however, summons a minion between one and four pips. Tier two gives the minion, I'm guessing, additional 35 health. Tier three, however, gives the minion 35 health and one pip. Tier four gives the minion plus 70 health and a pip, and tier five gives the minion a plus 70 health and two pips. So before I upgrade this, I wanna try out the minion to see which ones we get. Alrighty, Blood Bats does 70 to 110 damage. Upper tier stays at one pip, does increasing damage as you go along, and the accuracy increases as you go along. The lower path costs two pips now, it does a lot more damage, and it gives a 10% myth trap. Tier three does more damage and gives a 10% myth trap. Tier four does more damage and gives a 15% myth trap. And tier five does even more damage and gives a 15% myth trap. Okay, yes, I was definitely mistaken about what Troll does because I had not even upgraded Troll like at all in Live Realm yet. Yeah, that's sad. Over a year of the weekly spell mental pack and I still can't upgrade Troll yet. So the upper tier, which is two pips, does more damage as you increase it and the accuracy increases as you level this up. The lower path, however, it does the same damage as tier one, but it summons a one pip minion. I never saw the pip, apparently. I thought, ooh, summons two minions. No, 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 no. It summons a one pip minion, which that's pretty crappy. One pip minions are like, well, the two pip minion has 75 health, so how bad is the one pip minion? But anyhow, tier three does same damage, but summons two pip minion. Woohoo, that's the troll sentinel for 75 health. Tier four does a little bit more damage and summons a two pip minion. And tier five does a little bit more damage and summons the two pip minion. I'm guessing it's still the same one because I'm guessing it summons a troll minion. So maybe the first one's like troll baby or something. Anywho, that's troll. Cyclops, 265 to 325 damage. Great standard damage spell. The upper path increases in accuracy and in damage as you level it up. It stays at three pips. The lower path also stays at three pips and the accuracy stays at 80% though. Now it does like way less damage at 170 to 210 damage, but it puts two 10% traps on it. Nice, the target. Tier three does more damage and puts those same two 10% traps for myth on that target. Tier four does the same damage as tier three, but now it puts two 15% myth traps on the target. And tier five does more damage and still puts two 15% traps on the target. You can tell that a lot of these myth ones put traps on and now you see why. Minotaur does 50 damage, then 445 damage. It's like dual hit thingy. Don't ask me why they came up with this. It's kind of interesting. Tier two does a little bit less damage. Hmm. Oh, interesting. A little bit less first hit damage and then more damage on the end. So they just took five off of this one and added 20 here. So that's kind of cool. Tier three, also the accuracy goes up as you go along and they all cost five pips. Tier three, it removed five more damage from the first hit and added 15 damage 
to the second hit. That's nice. Tier four, they removed 10 damage from the initial hit and added 20 to the secondary hit. And honestly, 90%, I guess it's still pretty good. I don't even know why you even bother hitting twice on the maxed out Minotaur because it does 20 damage. Okay. And then 525. So when you boost this one up, it does separate it just saying you're using epic and adding 300. It does separate it between these two. Now the lower path. Alrighty, so it does a little bit less damage than tier one. It does 45 and then 400 damage, but it has the ability to do 85 more damage per trap that's on the target. Now you see why they're putting all these traps on the target. Of course, it's myth specialty anyway, so it should be using those. Tier three does same initial hit and a little bit more on the second hit, and then does 85 per trap, but this one is a max of two traps. Tier four does the same 45 initial hit, a little bit more on the secondary hit, and this one does 85 per trap with a max of three that it can use for that. And the final maxed out tier still does that 45 initial damage, now does 445 for the secondary damage. And then for the potential damage, it can do 85 per trap with a max of four traps. Stone Colossus, it's locked. Yeah, another one. You can get it as a treasure card right now in Live Realm, but uh, I'm not sure how you're gonna be able to get this when this goes live or even in test. I don't know if it's a dungeon thing or what. So it does 560 to 640 damage. These cost six pips all the way across and the accuracy goes up as you level this up and the damage increases as you level it up as well. The lower tier, however, does a set damage instead of the variable damage like the top and then it can potentially do 215 more damage if the caster has a negative charm. So if somebody put a weakness on you, you know, like a death or something, then yes siree Bob, you're doing more damage. Tier three does more damage and then this a little bit less potential damage. Oh, that's interesting. So they gave the they gave the damage 20 more damage, but the potential damage went down by five. I don't know if they meant to do that. I don't know if they meant to do that because see this one's 215, this one says 210. So maybe this is supposed to be 210, this is supposed to be 215. That would make more sense because tier four is 220 potential damage if you have a weakness of some sort. And then for tier five, you're doing 605 damage and then potentially to 25 damage if you have a weakness. So that's a boo-boo. And Athena battle side. Oh, this is so nice. We love this. Although this is not the proper order because when I cast this, she gave me the shield and then she hit. So she gave me the 35 shield and then hit. So yeah, this is not the proper order. Tier two, more damage, same shield. Tier three, more damage, same shield. And you know where the other two are going. So more damage, same shield. Ninja Pigs does 640 damage. And then each additional tier, the damage goes up a little bit and the accuracy stays at 75% and the pip cost stays at 5%. Keeper of the Flame does 400 damage and gives the caster a 25% Myth Blade. Tier two does a little bit more damage and same blade. Tier three does a little bit more damage and same blade. Tier four does a little bit more damage and same blade. Tier five, however, does the same amount of damage as tier four, except this time it gives you a 30% blade. And thank you to the Atmoplex for posting images of the spellament paths because I don't have access to these spells yet and I wouldn't know what they were without ya. Okay, so right now he's got four pips. So let's just cast it and see what we get. Alrighty, I should have put a lot more of these minions because, oh, but I can't dismiss it. Oh, interesting. All right, he's got two pips. So let's do a two pip Cyclops minion. All right, what do we get? We get a Cyclops Watcher. No offense with the uh, troll summoning AD troll minion that's not really that great because for two pips which was the max it uh 75 health that's yeah that's interesting that they aren't letting us get rid of the minions anymore they used to have this little x right next to them just uh, you know in case you get the wrong one or something you can just dismiss it i much prefer that one for testing out minions <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry to laugh, dude, but that was funny. If you're adding all that health to that Cyclops minion, woo! I mean, the 2-pip one had 300 health, so that's crazy. The 4-pip one had 700 health. Alrighty, Cyclops soldier with 550 health. Oh well, no matter what, I'm never gonna have only one pip to test out the one pip version of the Cyclops minion. It's probably just called Cyclops. 
All right, so now I'm going to test out this top path here. So it's a little bit different than the bottom tier. So let's start upgrading it. Let's go with the top tier first. All right, now that this one is maxed out, I wonder once you uh, max out this side, does it change the names? The Cyclops ally, I bet it does. So wait, I can still cast it with no mana? No way. Okay. All right, I guess that works. So, Cyclops Warrior. Woo, you have 840 health now. Because it had 700 and now it has 140 more health. Yay! So, yes, that's exactly what that spell does. Much, much handier than Golem Taunt. What? Now, let's reset it and test out the bottom. That's a different one. That's a gladiator. So this one also has 700, but it seems like they give us a different one. Interesting. But it also starts out with more pips. Ooh. Well, okay. Yellow fire elf. Um, yeah, look at that. Very interesting. I've never seen a um, myth version of that. That was interesting. Two, this thing's got some crazy spells. Steel Pip, a myth, a uh, yellow fire elf, noble humongo frog, which is the DOT version to all enemies. You get that one from the pet, by the way. Steel Pip. It's almost like it's a moon. Because look, it's got Ice Shield, Death Shield, and for some reason, Cleanse Charm. Yeah. Ooh, Mythic Fuel. And Cleanse Charm. I'm pretty sure that's all it has. All right, two pips. Two pips. All right, so this one's called a Cyclops Seeker. The other version is a Cyclops Watcher. Okay, well, here's the Blood Bat doing the damage and giving a Myth trap. Ooh, double cyclops. So my cyclops gives traps. Which is super handy because that minion's about to hit. And there's that one. And then Cyclops doing the damage and giving two traps. All right, so now she has two right there because clearly it used one when it hit. All righty, now Minotaur is going to do 45 damage, then 400 plus 85 more damage per uh, trap. But it's a max of one, so I'm curious which one it's going to use. Oh. Well, it kind of used the traps. Okay, so that one was definitely more at the end. And just for giggles, there's Athena.
Give me a shield. And hit you. <laughs> Thanks so much everyone for checking out this video showing off the new and updated misspells in Test Realm and also testing out that Cyclops minion. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!